Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror any Samsung phone, any Samsung phone by the way, to your Roku Express and it's connected right now in the background. So let me just show you. See? It is work. I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but it's working in the background. And trust me on this, you can do tons with this. I play games, I play, I, I do tons of stuff basically. So let me just give you an example. Right now I'm using a camera and you can see, I can actually take a photo of my Chibi Charms right there. So let me just take a photo. Just took a photo, okay? I'll just open up a photo and you can see it on my screen. I can actually zoom in and you can see it on my TV right there. That's Naruto right there. I mean, I just, I just love it now return, but yeah, pretty much it. It's pretty simple. No need to download anything on your Samsung phone and you don't, you just, it's a Roku TV. It's really simple. You don't need to do anything on your TV as well. So in today's video, we'll show you, today's video, we'll be screen mirroring a Samsung phone to your Roku Express TV, completely free. No need to download any third party apps because everything is just built into it. So let's just dive right into it. <laughs> All right. So. Couple things we need to do before we actually screen mirror Samsung phone to your Roku Express TV. Really simple, the first one is gonna be your home Wi-Fi. So go into your settings tab, into the settings, go into the connection tab and you can see my Samsung phone is connected to my home Wi-Fi. That is really, really important, okay? You have to make sure your Samsung phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. You can use your mobile hotspot, but I would not recommend it because it's not free. It might cost you credit or your data. So just be careful with the mobile hotspot, but you can use that. So once your phone is connected, that is pretty much all you have to do. Now we have to make sure that the TV or your Roku TV is also on the exact same connection. So let's do that. All right, so inside your Roku TV, go into your settings tab. Inside the, net, inside the settings, go into your network settings. By the way, as you can see, mine is connected. You can actually go into your set up a new connection. If you have done this before, go to check connection or you could just set up connection. Click on wireless. It's gonna automatically look for any wireless connection that is available to you. So if you have a hotspot, it should be available here. If you have home, if you, if you have home Wi-Fi, it should be available here. So in this case, there you go. Top one is my home Wi-Fi. Just click on it, enter the password. I've done this before, so as you can see, I don't have to enter the password again, and it's connected. And that is pretty much all you have to do. So just go to the home, and you don't have to do anything out of this screen. So let's just, <laughs> all right, it's time to bring. So the way it works is really simple. Onto your Samsung phone, go into the settings tab. Now inside the settings tab, as you can see, there is a settings called connected devices. Really simple, go into the connected device settings, Scroll down just a tiny bit and you can see Smart View tab right next to Samsung DAX. Really simple. Just click on Smart View. It's going to automatically automatically scan all the TVs that are running on the same Wi-Fi network, okay? Or the hotspot. In this case, my phone and my Roku TV are both on the exact same Wi-Fi connection. So all you have to do is just select the Roku Express 4K TV and it should be connected any minute now. Just give it a second. It might ask you for permission on your TV. So just click allow as you can see right there. As you can see just right there. See, all you have to do is just click allow and we should be connected. Just give it a couple seconds. As you can see, it's reading into it and bam, we are connected, right? See, it's pretty smooth. It's pretty HD, it's really smooth, I and mean, you can you can do do tons on this. Honestly, if you if you want to play games, you can play games. If you want to, you can you can do practically anything. I even showed you a video where I've shown and in this in the beginning, I actually showed you a video where let me just zoom in. Take a photo of a baby Naruto. I love Naruto, by the way. I can zoom in and you can see how HD it is on my TV. It's amazing the way it works. You can you can listen to music, you can go YouTube, you can do tons on this. By the way, the music, the audio will be coming from your Roku TV. So let me just go back to my home, uh, play any song. By the way, the, okay. Won't do much, just wanted to give you an idea that audio will be coming from your TV. I don't want to get copyrights on my video, so have to mute that part. But yeah, it's working pretty flawlessly. So the way you stop this is really simple. If you see a floating uh, smart view icon right there, just click on it. You can actually disconnect it from there, or you can actually go back into the settings. Really simple, just go back into the settings. Go to your connected devices settings and go all the way down to smart view. All you have to do is just tap on your TV that is being made to serve. Right now it's connected to Roku. Just tap on it and as you can see, we are disconnected. 
that is pretty much all you have to do. It's pretty amazing the way it works. If you want to mirror again, just tap on your Roku Express 4K. Again, it's going to ask you for, for permissions. Let's see. It might not ask you. It might not ask you for permission, but it should. Yeah, there you go. It's asking for permission. It's asking for permission again. Just click on allow and uh, we should be connected. Just give it a couple seconds again. And that is pretty much it right there. See, I mean, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So as again, I'm just going to wait, where is the settings right there? So go into smart view, just tap on the Roku and should be disconnected. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Pretty smooth. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for watching this video. By the way, if you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel because that will help me a lot, a lot. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely help you out. By the way, the light is actually like hurting my eyes right now. It's so close to me. Sorry about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.